like 5.30 in the morning. It is track day today. I got the car loaded up. Everything's in the back. We're gonna go pick up Jonathan. Let's get on the road. We got like a two hour drive to get there. So we made it, we're checking the car. It needs a little bit of oil, but it's all good. Honda life. Honda life. <laughs> yeah. Right now, uh, we're running a little bit late, so we have to get our helmets on and get in line already because it's almost time. We have like five minutes. <laughs> okay guys, so we're going out for the first session. Never been to this track before, and it's definitely not gonna go crazy on the first uh, session. So just gonna be learning the track. Probably not gonna show you guys too much of this footage unless something epic happens which I hope not, <laughs> but yeah, we're just gonna go out, learn the track, and then uh, as the day progresses, we'll get faster and faster, so um, I can't anticipate this is gonna be that exciting of a lap, so um, I'll show you guys if there's anything exciting, and then we'll we'll talk about it after. Yeah. That's it, this is it. That's it. <laughs> you know where you're going. Oh, <laughs>
You guys probably saw from that session and we're gonna get some in cab footage because this guy was tripping oh man this guy's insane he's a maniac on the course man <laughs> I don't know. you got used to it by the end of it though yeah no it's fun it's really fun i it's my first time ever doing that but i'm surpri really surprised he did better than most people i've had a few people uh <laughs> not like me after they went for a ride but uh yeah you guys probably saw from the footage so we went out and i don't know exactly what lap it was but these tires that I have on here, they're Federals, uh, 595 RS, RR, a bunch of R's. And uh, they're real known to get greasy. They're known to be good and sticky, but then they get greasy like a certain point in. And we definitely hit that threshold because it gave us like no warning. We went to go take that turn and the car just pretty much drove straight and we were just like on ice essentially. So, and then even the rest of that lap, even after that incident happened, we didn't quite come off, but I don't know. I'll have to look at the footage again, but pretty much we're hanging off the track and um yeah even even as we did like the next like two laps right yeah. it was still slippery you yeah, could feel it two, yeah. it was like no matter where we tried to go you could just feel the thing like just sliding yeah. so yeah i could feel it and i was a passenger you know yeah, yeah so but i mean we had some nice grip yeah. for a while like yeah. we were like throwing just it in there everybody. <laughs> so and i'm sure too like as we get smoother throughout the day like um as we get more smooth we probably won't put as much heat in the tires we won't be as hard on the tires so we could probably get more laps out of them because like i said i was still learning the track and i still am learning the track but got top five um, number five yeah, yeah we got fifth in that in that session and that's in advance that's like the advance is like the top group uh, that you could run in today so out of all of these cars <laughs> and crazy story we had toilet paper inside the cab don't the tell them that <laughs> so it was going in our faces and we still got top five I'm a little bit under the weather, so I had some <laughs> tissue for my nose today, and it decided to join us while we were on the track. I yeah. forgot that we it had it behind. Yeah. It was sitting there doing one of these like <laughs> Twizzler things in our face. So, but uh, anyways, that's it for that session. I checked the air pressures; we're good. Um, we're about 30, about 35 psi, 34 uh, hot, which is where we want to be. So we're good to go. We'll wait for the next session. We'll go out. Look at them. 
you guys saw that, but two cars crashed into each other. It looked like a blue Corvette C7 and a some sort in. of silver Porsche. Came in. Yeah, I don't know what the issue was. The, the, the Corvette was the faster car. Um, because he was in front of us. If you guys noticed the beginning of staging, he was directly in front of us. So he was the faster car, but uh, I don't know. I don't know whether he was trying to get around that slow car and slow car didn't see him and, you know, less skill and he was somewhere where the Porsche couldn't react, but <clears throat> not good either way. We're just waiting for him to clear the track and we'll go back up. Is the carnage from the Porsche so apparently the Corvette tagged him in the corner and the Corvette's claiming he had brake damage or brake failure aye, aye, aye. check out that Corvette that crashed you ready let's see yeah it's just the front corner there there she is guys a little bit of wheel in the front corner oh the airbag went off the airbag went off I don't even want to tell you what's there <laughs> I had the same shit happen to me. There's like a huge chunk of rubber just like smashing your grill. <laughs> same thing happened to my car. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. asphalt? Is it a chunk of Yeah, that's a chunk of the track. Yeah, track. Big old chunk. Take it up to him in the tower and be like, here's your track back. <laughs> <laughs> How's the handle out there? <laughs> just all over the place. Well, it's still stiff though, right? It's just heavy. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can, like, when you shift from left to right, like, you can feel it big time. You know? Aww. It's like, I mean, it's a handful, you know. Uh, Does it, like, keep it cool I mean, still, though? I like, beat them? the sorts until I was single, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, this is from earlier. This guy's so lucky. <laughs> So this was when the track was super dusty in the morning. It was super slick. And uh, this thing, he kind of slid a little bit. I slid the same way today, but it was even dustier this morning. He's so lucky he didn't have a passenger because that door is pushed the heck in. That is just nuts. He's so lucky to be walking. He's over there walking. 
mean, it's got full slicks and everything, but that's just how slick the track was for a sesh. Look at that thing. Dude, that's scary. That's so scary. Check out this spicy Mustang we found. This is like a full blown race car. Look inside. All crazy looking dash. It's all gutted. Big wang. Suppression system. Woo wee. That is a serious machine. Bald Eagles right there. All right guys, so I'm gonna update you on how the last session went. So, let's see. All right guys, so last session we ran faster. We did a 210. So, that's what we ran. We didn't, I don't think we got the full session. It kind of got cut a little bit short just because there was that incident, but definitely an improvement. So we went from like a 212 something to 210.7, I guess that's saying. So, um, still an improvement. I think next session we're gonna try without the 200 pounds of John in there. And I also made a slight adjustment to the wing too, so we'll see. We'll see if it makes a difference, but we adjusted the wing down one position, so it's a little bit more aggressive. So before it was in the center hole, and we put it over here, and it's bottomed out as much as we can go here. So see if it makes any difference. If it puts a little bit more weight on the rear, it'll come at the expense of you know drag, but I think a little bit more downforce on the back wouldn't be a bad thing at this point, so we'll see. Listen to that, you guys. That could be us. Could be us. Look at this guy's got a ZR1 up front. He's leading this back. Oh, this is cool. This guy ain't playing any game.
Well, that's the end of the tires. <laughs> <laughs> now you know they're cooked. <laughs> they're like, let's see how it goes. Well, we found out. Okay guys, so I, I'm going to update you guys on that third session. That was wild. Um, tires were cooked, like I said, about after four or five laps, but we were having fun and we were ripping pretty good. So we decided to keep pushing it. And you guys saw the outcome. So we got a little hairy on the one side of the track, kept going, and then the other side of the track, we were drawing a nice line out of the corner. We were flat foot. You know, all the downforce is there on the back end, and the back end just started coming around on us. Snapped hard the other way. We were sliding, and uh, it was there was no saving it. So we were just passing news at that point. It was pretty fun, though. But the good news in all of that is we set our fastest time of the day, which was 2.09. So 2.09.2, which is a really respectable time, you guys, for not having been here, having a stock motor in our car, um, not having like true race tires, I would say. Like we just have like the cheapest of the cheap, you know, it worked, tires. It, it did. It did what it had to do. It kept. <laughs> yeah. It kept us on track most of the time. Well, I mean, there's a few <laughs> things that that can go down that we need to do. So we need to get a proper alignment, which I'm actually gonna do this week with you guys. So I'll show you guys that whole process. We're gonna go get a race spec alignment, which means it's not the same spec that you would go to your you know mom and pop shop or your local tire shop to get an alignment. This alignment is gonna allow us so that when we start sliding a bit, it's more controllable and it's not gonna snap over steer like you guys are seeing. So um, we're gonna get that done. And also once these tires wear out, I wanna get some stickier tires that hold traction better. And then eventually suspension, we'll get some better, uh, more expensive uh, sh um, coilovers on there. So we got good swift springs on there, but the coilovers are kind of cheap. So the dampening is not the greatest, um, but overall can't complain for a cheap budget build. See what the last and fourth session gets us.
right guys, so that last run you guys saw, uh, we're running decent, but the track is still a little bit slippery overall. Either that or the tires are starting to kind of show their age a little bit with that many run sessions, but ended up, I don't know, I felt like I kind of hit something a little bit because I felt it kind of lift or pop, and then it just literally spun me around. So um, at that point, where you guys could probably count the laps or if you you know if I edited it we were in about five laps so that was pretty much where things get a little bit greasy but I was in so much lapsed traffic that I wanted to make the best of that session and see if we could chip away at our 209 but um, you're gonna have to settle for 209 today which is still pretty respectable but um, that's the best time we did today but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it I know he, I enjoyed it. I think I we scared it. him a little bit <laughs> when he saw that car with the the crash, and I think he didn't want to come in the car anymore. <laughs> that was the turning point for him. No, so, no. But uh, no, I think it was fun. I think it was fun, and uh, we'll definitely have to do it again. But I'm enjoying this and trying different tracks. But now I'm feeling like I want to get some better tires here soon. So I don't know. Maybe we'll shred these ones a little bit more. But. Um, yeah, it would be nice to have some stickier tires and set some some more fire lap times. But yeah. that's enough for today, you guys. If you like this, make sure you give a thumbs up. If there's anything different that you want to see in these types of videos, like um, you know these track videos, because me and John were talking about bringing the experience to you guys. I don't know, uh, words can't just describe, and I don't even think this video can describe how like exhilarating this is. It's like it's so wild and such a rush. Like it feels like a roller coaster ride, but it's so much fun. So. Um, we're gonna try and you know get some stuff. I might get like a 360 cam next so that we can kind of see a view all the way around the car But if there's any certain cockpit uh, Views that you guys want to see on the next one definitely leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this video. See you guys in the next one